Hello guys, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Tales of Vesperia. When when we last left off, we had just left the small Imperial outpost, I believe, I don't even remember the name, and we traveled to the City of Guild Stongrest, where as soon as we got here, for the most part, almost as soon as we got here, the Barrier Blastia failed, and the city got ransacked by monsters. And now that uh, all of it's taken care of, now we're going to go see the Dawn about Barbos. What about the person who controls the Union? What is Don Whitehorse like? In a word, big. Big voice, big body, big everything. We already know what he looks and sounds like. We saw him, remember? Oh yeah, that's right. Well... He's a really cool person! Does that answer your question, Estelle? It's clear that Carol has a lot of respect for the Don, but that's about the only thing that's clear. Mm -hmm. He's so cool that it can't be expressed in words! We'll just leave it at that, then. Alrighty, then. Let's just... Never mind. <laughs> How selfish, yeah, whatever. That's all I've got about the forest. Hmm. And of course, Raven. Come to think of it, why was Flynn and Dawn Grest? The Empire and the Union have never gotten along, so knights don't show up here often. I doubt they're here to see the sights either. It's gotta be tied up in one of their duties. Do you think Flynn's alright? Those guild people were being really mean to him. Flint's no delicate little flower. He can take some heat. Don't forget, oh, yeah. before he was a knight, he had to make it on the streets of the lower quarter. I hope you're right. Amongst other things. Mm. So is this way not leading out to the city? Take thousand of them. Bards, that's not the way we need to go. Yeah, that day of the last song. And other looks like we found the target. Oh, looks at least. Idea trees this big existed. 
Sounds like good soothing music. Yeah, but it doesn't exactly look healthy for them to be this overgrown. It's just like you said, Carol. It's like what happened at Heliord when the Blastia went berserk. Be careful. There's somebody here. <laughs> Probably Raven. Hey, what a coincidence. What the hell are you doing in a place like this? You know, out for a forest <coughs> stroll, taking in the nature. Something smells fishy. What? Where's my welcome? You didn't think we'd honestly be glad to see you, right? Uh, you don't mean that. I can come in handy, you know. You're not thinking of coming with us, right? Of course. It's lonely being out here all by my lonesome. What? No dice? You'd better watch your back. If you try anything funny, you're dead. Hey, you don't Leave really think Rita. my story stinks that bad, do you? Yeah, the stench is sort of coming off you in waves. Really? I can't take responsibility for what I'll do if you make any sudden moves. Don't forget that. Hmm, what level is Raven? Up. I know there's not much point in bringing it up again, but this guy's really fishy. Yeah, how long is he planning to stick with us anyway? Does he even have a good reason for being in Cave Mock? You heard him, old man. Spit it out. Huh? I'm gonna stick with you guys as long as need be. And as for my reasons, I thought I told you. I'm on a mission of self-discovery. You said you were out for a forest stroll, taken in the nature. Oh, I did? If I had a memory that bad, I'd want to find myself, too. <laughs> there you go. Really fishy. Really, really, really fishy. <laughs> if Carol can catch on, you know you're screwed. So, I mean, it's Carol. Like, the freak. Tricks that'll convince us you're worth keeping around? Do I look like some kind of street magician to you? Hey, you, come here a second. What? <laughs> Me? Hey, look at that. Carol just disappeared. Huh? What do you want with Carol? Just wait for them to let their guard down, give them a little poke, and then bam! bam. Jeez, I bet you're great at parties. <laughs> I suppose that was good enough. It's, oh, yeah. I was really? I don't remember his sleeves having glasses. And then it's like, oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. All right. Hey, you mean I passed? I can stay? <laughs> Yippee! Are you kidding? It'll be much easier to do things to him if we keep him nearby. <laughs> what do you mean, things? You don't want to know. I haven't thought about that. Okay, just got a little chill up my spine. Well then, Mr. Raven, after you. <laughs> right. <laughs> I feel like an easy win. Let's just get it over with. 
Grimmer of Haven. I'm supposed to say, are they really all coming out to me? What the hell? Is this gonna happen for like everybody or what the hell? He's just a clearing skill out to skill out to skill out to skill out to school. about one of the only things I don't like about Rita is that sometimes can't sit there and do multiple attacks at once. to speed up the casting. I need to remember that next time. Shouldn't you be using this a little more? I gotta remember that next time. Don't make things a lot easier. <laughs> <laughs> Sucker! Is this someone even going the right way? Let's eliminate them! Wonderful! And he's probably gonna be dead, man. Good for a dog. Yeah, an imperial dog. Mm, he still got some. Yay, a monster in the box. Always wanted one. Down goes Raven. I mean, it's supposed to be useful. What the hell? All right, so I'm just gonna call it an episode here, and in the next episodes, we're gonna explore more of what is it? Cape Keep Mulk. I don't know, say it, but whatever. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and have a good day, everybody. See you guys in the next episode. Uh.